Hey Ross World, my money makes money. Credit class part seven of seven. This is the last one. Inquiries, okay, inquiries. We're gonna talk about hard inquiries and we're gonna talk about soft inquiries. So what is a hard inquiry? A hard inquiry is when you are searching for a credit card, when you are searching for a loan, whether it be for a house or a car. Those when you are trying to apply for a loan, those underwriters, those loan peoples, okay? They go onto your credit and it's a hard hit to your credit. Now, here's the thing. According to FICO, whether it be version eight of FICO or version nine of FICO, okay? You have to understand these different types of versions of FICO as they elevate the new credit levels, okay? They just getting smarter or trying to be more stringent in the process. Now, you do have Vantage 3.0, which is according to the three credit agencies, TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax. That is the score system that they came up with, but FICO has been around for a very, very long time. 90% of lenders check your FICO rather than your Vantage 3.0, but maybe in the future, other than that 10%, it may rise because it's coming from the source themselves and your vanity 3.0 when you look on credit comma that is exactly what you're looking at now back on hard inquiries we're talking about mortgages credit cards cars personal loans business loans they look at that credit and when they look at your credit it takes two to five points off now according to fico this may or may not hurt your credit score because it may not compute well let me tell you this act as though it does active though it is. Just think every time you inquire something, it's going to take two to five points off your credit score, your FICO credit score, and as well as your Vantage 3.0 credit score. But here's the great thing about FICO. If you are out searching for a loan for your for your house, right? You want to pay, you want to pay your house off, you can go through a mortgage company, doesn't matter which one it is, but you're searching for the best rates. FICO gives you a 45-day window for that particular loan in order to shop, and they will count that inquiry as one. So if you go to all these different lenders for a mortgage rate, for a mortgage loan, you want to see how much your interest is going to be, how much you're going to pay over time, etc. they're going to count that inquiry on your credit report as one. Now for Vantage, if my memory serves me correctly, it's about 14 to 15 days they give you, whereas though FICO gives you 45 days and not account for cars and credit cards and other sorts of loan that hit your credit as a hard inquiry. They give you 45 days. So don't think if you're going to this lender, this lender, this lender, that it's going to be like five points or two to five points, you know, subtract, decrease, subtract, decrease, so on and so forth. No, they're only counting it as one, which is a great thing because they know that you're rate shopping, okay? Now, on the other hand, Vantage 3.0 by the three credit agencies, you only get a 14-day window. Let's go with 14. I'm, it's somewhere in around those teens, so let's just go with 14. They only give you a 14-day window. So if you're buying a car and you're looking for the, the right sort of interest rate, the low interest rate, or something you can't afford, okay, then you got two weeks, guys. Whereas though with the FICO, it just depends on what score that particular creditor is looking at, okay? That person who's gonna lend you that money. So understand how it affects your credit score on both systems because you want to be a good steward of your credit score because that's going to help you in the present and also in the future, okay? Now, here's another thing. If you have very little accounts on your credit, but you have a lot of credit inquiries because whether it be with FICO or whether it be with Vantage 3.0, you just keep going out every month and a half or every month trying to apply for different sorts of credit. That hurts your credit a lot. It really does hurt your credit a lot. And here's another thing, statistically showing those people with few accounts, let's just go with three. If you have more than six inquiries over, let's say a 30 day period, those people statistically are known to file for bankruptcy. Let that hit home real quick. So basically saying you're trying to wait till your credit score rise, but you're not really working on it, or maybe you're working on it and it's not rising as fast as you need it or want it to be, but you still go out and apply for credit. So that inquiry hits your credit and it lowers your credit score. So after a certain while, you don't have enough tools in your toolbox. You don't have enough money. You don't have enough striller, cheese, cheddar to accomplish whatever you're trying to accomplish and you file for bankruptcy to save yourself. Whether it be chapter 13, chapter six, 
some one of those chapters out there. So understanding your heart inquiry and when you go apply for these loans from these different lenders and vendors and people, those underwriters are really scrutinizing what's best for the business, not what's best for you. Not what's best for you. It's best for the business. Okay, if you're on the cusp, if you're a risky person, they're going to offer you a loan, but it's going to be high interest. Okay, now soft inquiries. Soft inquiries are inquiries that do not take any points and do not hit your credit score. Does not hit your credit report because nine times out of 10, either you're looking for an apartment, they just need to check your credit score and they'll tell you it won't hurt your credit score because it's a soft inquiry. They just want to see where you at to make a conscious decision. Okay. Like when you go to credit comment, you're looking at, you're doing a soft inquiry and that's what Vantage, just for an example, it's a soft inquiry. So it's not, you can check it a thousand times a day and it's not going to hurt your credit score. So when you go for different places, maybe you're getting security clearance or maybe you looking at an apartment, they say we're going to do a soft inquiry or we're going to do an we're going to do a credit check, but they tell you it won't take points away from your credit score. And that is the different guy. See, when someone just reviewing your record, that doesn't hurt your credit score. But when you are applying for money, okay, when you're applying for money, it's considered a hard inquiry. And those are the things that affect your credit score. Now, after three or four months, whatever damage that inquiry did, it would then return back to its normal line, okay? So if it was 715, and when you did those inquiries searching for that new car you love, and it went down to 710, right? Because I said anywhere from two to five points, it may drop two to five points. It went down to 710, and then three to four months, it should be back at 715 if you're not doing anything else with your credit. So once again, guys, I have those credit letters that you can send out and you can dispute and get those inquiries as well as those collection accounts and any accounts that's past the seven year mark off your credit. That way your credit score rises instantaneously almost, right? When they delete it, your credit score goes up because that debt collection account or those inquiries that you've had 30, 40 of that was killing your credit score. They're now wiped away. You can dispute those things. And as I said before in another video is that when you have collections account on your credit and that credit agency, whether it be those three, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, they send the business, whatever that account who's under, they send them a letter, a formal letter stating, is it this guy's or this girl's account? If so, let me see that in writing. Let me see what information you have. That way I can tell them this dispute it has been handled. It is your account according to the information we was given by that company. Now, if that company cannot provide those three credit agencies with that information under the FCRA, they must delete it. They must delete it. Look it up, guys. The FCRA 609 and 611 talks about accounts, credit accounts, as well as inquiries. Don't take my word for it. I always tell you, do your research. That's what I do. That's how I'm giving you the information. But listen, guys, when it comes to all these things, you have to be diligent. You can't be lazy. I'm just going to give you one nugget. I'm going to get out of here with this information. So here's the thing. A lot of people, a lot, they are so lazy when it comes to their money, when it comes to their credit. But we all know this is your livelihood. You must tackle this the way you tackle a sandwich, the way you tackle a pizza, the way you want to go to a ball game, the way you want to go to an amusement park, the way you want to go to Dubai. You understand what I'm getting at, right? When you want to do something that excites you, that makes you happy, whether you read a book, get that bottle of wine you always wanted, travel to that country you always wanted, go on vacation, hit the beach, you dive in, you do your research, you're looking for the best deals, the best flights, the best food, the best, the best, the best within your budget. Guess what? Without handling this right here, you won't have a budget. You won't have a budget. Credit is the hallmark. It's the heart of all your finances, right? The four tiers of money, which I'm compiling, which I came up with. Somebody's going to steal it. Watch. But you heard it here first on Ross World. We're talking about debt budgeting, saving, and investing. But in net, you have credit. 
Because all that doesn't mean anything if you don't have credit. Then somebody say, well, if I'm a millionaire, why would I have any credit? Ask millionaires. They'll tell you why you need good credit. And that's why they pay off all their bills before they were millionaires so they can continue on with their lives. This is Ross World. This is Credit Class Part 7 of 7. Inquiries. Hard and solved. For this particular thing, you just want soft inquiries. <laughs> You'll get it. I'm out.